My name is Ron Barwinski. I'm a retired school teacher who climbed, uh, you know, sets of stairwells at uh, Edwin Denby High School uh, for 30 years. Can't even imagine the amount of steps. And uh, what uh, happened was that the cartilage in my toes, everything gets compromised. Basketball that I enjoy, not so much anymore. Frisbee that I grew up on, not so much anymore. There was a profound limp that I was experiencing. I could not run evenly anymore. I could not walk evenly on certain days. I take a half mile walk down to our Detroit Renaissance Center to see the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. There was a lot of standing, of course, and jockeying for position as I was a photographer to get those shots, those magic moments. And I was limping profusely. I had a little bit of weight on me in terms of camera equipment, but not that much. And I was in my mid-50s. I'd been healthy, active all my life. By the time I got back to my car, I said, this has got to stop. I had a great opportunity of meeting Dr. Tad Sprunger. Dr. Tad looked at my situation, and of course, I held off on saying anything about my Monday experience to see what he had to present in an unbiased way. He uh, provided me with his drawings. He told me about the implant. He told me about the quality of the implant. He told me about the surgery. He told me about the recovery. He told me about the PT. And he told me about the outcome that I could have. Hear me then say, well, Dr. Sprunger, listen to everything you've got to say. You've been very clear, but uh, I've also heard another medical opinion. And that medical opinion was that I should fuse this joint, this toe joint. He literally had a visceral response to that, this kind of thing. But at 54, with a daughter to raise, that would be the worst thing for you. This is the way you go. I felt very confident in his words. Arthrosurface then was going to be what would really make all this possible. With surgery occurring on Monday and not having gone through this before, the first day of course was to rest the foot. The second day, my surgical directions were to begin walking. And I did. I was able to completely move around my apartment. I was completely to able to take care of domestic chores. The pain, um, again, you know, diminished, maybe taking one Tylenol a day. This to me was a remarkable outcome given the surgery that had been done and speaks volumes about the implant and speaks volumes about my surgeon and what I was able to do in three, four, five days to getting back to normal. The joy of having a complete recovery tool inside my foot would be needed again. In the spring of 2017, my right foot and its cartilage had worn out. Once again, I went back to Dr. Sprunger and he says, look at the x-ray before, look at it after, Ron. It's time again. I was almost happy because the same implant would be used on my right foot one year later. Recovery, complete recovery. We're not talking about a compromise here on the left foot. There was no compromise. My range of motion on that toe exceeded his expectations every time I went in post-op in 2016. 100% is what I would call my recovery on the left foot a year before. 2017, arthrosurface was my middle name. There was no way that I would have settled for anything less, and there's nothing I could have wanted more. And both my feet now are 30 years younger. The arthrosurface implant made that possible. It allowed me to sit there and say to myself, my surgeon is exemplary. This product is exemplary. My recovery was a godsend. And if it happened once, why can't it happen twice was my prayer. And my prayer was answered. Range of motion is everything in this. Like I say, when you can knock a doctor on his fanny, so to speak, about the range of motion that you're getting twice, back to back years, well, he sees hundreds and hundreds of people. And he saw me. And I'm grateful for it.